going on guys? This is my official review of Loray Athletic Club Gym. Now you guys know that earlier this year I sort of had a falling out with my previous gym that I'd been going to since I was nearly 16 years old, Gold's Gym. As soon as that happened I was looking for a place to join. I looked at a couple of different gyms and I visited the Loray Athletic Club and just instantly fell in love. They had chalk, they had bumper plates, they had turf, they had a sled pusher, they had dumbbells from 5 pounds to 200 pounds. Now all in all, it just looked like a, a great environment. The first gym I'd ever seen around here in this area of its kind. Now Loray is a smaller gym, but size is not everything whatsoever when it comes to having a nice gym with good vibes and a good atmosphere and a great gym culture. I wouldn't call it a powerlifting, bodybuilding, crossfit. I would call it a serious gym, a serious niche gym where no matter what you do, what sport you're in, you're going to be welcomed with open arms into the family. We have powerlifters, we have Olympic lifters, we have some bodybuilders, we have people that train UFC, we have people that have never worked out a day in their life. No matter who you are, no matter what you look like, everyone is pushing everyone. Even at Gold's, it was starting to become more clicky, more people in groups that were looking at other people that weren't part of their groups. There's none of that whatsoever at Loray. It's the first gym that I've ever been at that's, it doesn't feel like whatsoever like a social club. It feels literally like a serious gym where everyone's working towards serious goals. Possibly one of the coolest things about Loray Mills Gym is that it actually used to be a mill. Back in 1902, it was a mill. It was opened as a mill. And the family neighborhood was actually called the Loray Mill Village. It was like a little community. I'm not gonna go into the, the history of all of it. There were some good and there were some really bad things that happened at the mill. Uh, Firestone bought out the mill in 1935 and it was a Firestone mill for a while. And then in 1993, it closed. The building was kind of vacant. It sort of fell apart and a couple years ago, some investors bought it and started rebuilding it, and then a friend of mine, Jonathan, decided it'd be a great idea to open a gym. So basically, it's an apartment complex with a pool, with a brewery, with a restaurant, and a really, really nice gym. In my opinion, the nicest gym in the Gastonia, Belmont, Mount Holly area. Now, because the building is old, it gives the gym a very rustic look. You have old concrete, you have old brick, you have old wood, you have a lot of older equipment around, and it gives the gym sort of the perfect mix of rustic and modern day design. On top of that, the gym does offer some classes. We have yoga classes, we have different cardio classes. I don't do any of the classes, guys, but if that's the kind of thing that you're into, we have that, we have bumper plates, we have 100 pound plates that you don't see at a lot of gyms, we have chalk, so if you're a powerlifter or a bodybuilder and you use chalk like me, be happy, we have it. And guys, if you're from out of town, wherever you're from, if you're coming towards the Charlotte, Gastonia, Belmont area, I'd love to have you at the gym. I'm not actually being paid <laughs> to do this. I just thought it would be cool to do and I absolutely love the gym and I feel like the gym deserves this exposure. So yeah, that's why I'm sort of decided to do this review. The gym also has two extra rooms. One extra room with a really nice speaker setup, has some bumper plates in there, it's it's all mirrored up, great lighting to do any anything really. You can do posing for bodybuilding, it's a great room to do any sort of photo shoots and by the way a lot of people do come to the gym to do a lot of photo shoots and video shoots. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit of a destination. I do believe in the future that it will become more of a, a bigger sort of travel destination for people like bodybuilders and powerlifters to come to. We do actually have powerlifting meets a couple times a year. So all in all guys, I'm super excited that I joined the gym. It's a great gym. I, I It's the first gym of its kind that I've ever been to. So I'm, I'm super stoked that it came into my life. And that's going to conclude this review, guys. Until next time, guys, all love.